Hey there, I'm Andra, I'm a designer, and I want to share a story about a moment when I realized that I might not fit into the mainstream narrative around career fulfillment and career progression in the IT industry. So for a little bit of context, I was not born a designer. Um, I transitioned to UX design after about 11 years of academic research in social and behavioral health sciences. And within that um, career, within that job, I've met a lot of people that were researching or they were practicing the same craft for years in a row. Um, they became experts in the field. They've become even reference uh, people in the field they were working in without actually having to take on a management position. And I was looking at them and I saw that they were happy with this. They were happy with practicing their craft. And in a way, maybe naively, I wanted to take that happy with me while transitioning to UX design and have the opportunity to exclusively focus on my craft. However, when I transitioned to UX design and I've started to understand the industry and how it works, um, I've found out this, what I've seen as a mainstream narrative around the fact that, yes, you can practice your craft up to a certain seniority, but after that, natural progression would be towards a management position. And this usually happens because a lot of working environments have limited growth opportunities for um, senior or beyond senior individual contributors. Um, but in the same time, there is this definition of success that's a lot of times equated with being in a people management position. Why would anybody um, want to stay on an individual contributor track and not pursue a people management track? Well, the reasons can be very personal, but I can share some of mine. Um, the biggest reason is that I love doing my work. I love designing, I love my craft, and I don't want to put my pen down. In the same time, I love creating um, learning context, mentoring, sharing knowledge, um, and all of this takes time that a management position would um, probably take away from doing the things that actually make me happy. In the same time, um, I love exploring new methods, new strategies, new technologies, and bringing them into my craft. And I feel that if I would take on a management track, it would just deter me from what I love doing the most. But how can you actually make an impact as an individual contributor when we all know that big decisions are made at management level? Well, maybe the activities that individual contributors do are not very visible, but they do make an impact. For example, I contribute to um, designing the strategy and the approach for different projects. I work together with management and uh, product and tech to bring our solutions to life. And basically that's advancing our mission. In the same time, I'm there for my team when they need support to um, crack open a difficult design problem or bounce back some solutions. And essentially that's um, empowering our team. Um, I love to take on different cross-functional roles, tie teams together, bringing different specialists at the same table while in the same time working hands-on on the design problem. And basically that's facilitating collaboration. And in the same time, I work on processes and ways to make our work more efficient. Um, and that's contributing, helping the organization grow. And all of that takes time um, that I have because I'm not doing all these people management activities. I'm a strong believer in interdisciplinary teams and for people in following their uh, true calling, even when it comes to career paths. We're human, we're different, and we have different aspirations, and that's perfectly fine. But it's very difficult to embrace such a calling if you don't have career growth opportunities um, that you can pursue. So in my journey, I'm trying to learn how to navigate this. I was fortunate enough to uh, meet managers and companies who are open to um, creating new opportunities for um, individual contributors. And maybe in a way, I've also become a tiny advocate on this topic in the environments that I've worked in. Um, I'm a strong believer that difficult tech and social problems can only be solved in teams with people in different roles. And we really need talented people in all of these roles. We're all human, we're diverse, and we have different aspirations. I think it's more important to focus on those um, 
different types of potential and ensure that everybody has a context and career growth opportunities to embrace their own calling. We're facing difficult tech and social challenges and we can only um, address them by having strong teams with talented people in each of these roles. And I hope that we will all realize that it's okay for some of us to lead by craft and not all of us have to put their pens down in order to have their voices heard at the table.